I didn't get Sean's aloe water today. No, he didn't beat me or anything. So, but she got me, she left me four sips of this one. <laughs> I said, I left you this other kind. And he was like, yeah, four sips. And I was like, these people are going to hear you <laughs> saying I didn't save you. Okay. Oh. Y'all, I'm ratchet as fuck tonight. Look, I'm doing press on nails. I'm not mm -hmm. done yet. I ran out of time. Mm -hmm. So she's, let me, let me put, let me put the other one on. She's going to get like. Clear her hair all the way back about six inches, so she's got a tremendous five head and be a um, truck stop. Hooker. Look, look how crooked they are. It make if I could just get it to go that way. She's trying so hard. I'm waiting. Oh, I'm waiting for her forgot, to go. I forgot the pinky nail too. I gotta oh. get that in a second. I'm just waiting for her to go. Sean, let me get my nails done, and I will. No, and I will I'm go, on purpose not getting them done. And I will go. Hold on. Yes, my queen. No, you won't. Yes, you my like, queen. Can you wait till payday, and I'd be like, hell no, I can't. Yeah, it's like. No, you, I'm, I'm. Can you wait till payday? And she's like, but of course, darling. But look how bad these look, and I'll be like, baby, go get them done. No. No, you won't. <laughs> I'm not, babe. I am Mandy's. I am. Salah. To Mandy. They're live right now. I know. Um, it was funny. <laughs> Sean was like, wretched, um, wretched. Loretta What's that? gets, Loretta gets really yeah, bothered. I was, I was, our Loretta friend Loretta, I was like, she doesn't get up. bothered by a lot. But Loretta's she... pretty centered gal. She don't <laughs> like Chantel. She don't like foodie beauty. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it on live. Okay. So here's the thing. I do like the length. Mm-hmm. And I do kind of like the the design. Hey, Mama Ricky, but um, the link is gonna be no bueno for chickens when I get if I get them done like that. Look at how good you look. Thursday at the curly coop on Mrs. ATX. Oh, you look good, babe. Well, they she said that you pulled my ponytail out of the back of my head, and there was a bald spot. I I do pull it out, but it's out of like it's lust. It's out of what do you call it? Out of uh, passion. Can you imagine? You um, those of you who are on my like distro for the small claims court channel, some of you watch it and are subscribed to it, but they did small claims and paternity court today, Sean. I, I still get paternity when they, say, when they say small claims court. I'm like, oh, you're no. like, it's gonna someone's cost me gonna go name. right across and slap somebody. Well, the paternity court one was funny because the guy. I mean, it was kind of sad because the guy was like, they were like, yeah, you're. You're, you need a parenting plan. You're the dad or whatever. And he's like, no, 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 no. He goes, to be a dad, you have to want to be a dad. And the judge was like, no, 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 no. It's no. up to you whether or not yeah. you spend time with it, but you are going to pay. You are a dad. Well, I don't really want to be a dad. Yeah, you should have thought of that before you got freaky. <laughs> and the lady was sitting there like, mm-hmm, that's mm -hmm. what I said. That's what I thought. Hey, Jocelyn. Yes, Jocelyn put out a video some this, this I watched it. This crazy fool is trying to say that she's a minor and that not her, the other person that's saying and we're like grooming her for the DC. First of all, that is the how do you groom someone? You for the got y'all got to listen to Joss's video. Joss is yeah. in the chat. Drop your link. You know what? Friend. I was kind of surprised because of how young looking she is. I know Sam's that, gone for that, that before. Other people I mean, that have been in the community, Sam she's tried to say so she's a minor. Oh, so sloppy yeah. Sam. Sam is like, oh my god, let's go with the minor thing. Um, and the grooming thing, Sam. Do you know what grooming is? Mm -hmm. You like because you also accused. Uh, but Josh, Josh does it. First of all, when y'all listen to Josh's video, okay. Um, Watch hers she, from yesterday too. She, yeah, she she doesn't hide it. She's mm -hmm. like, I can't remember five minutes ago and this and that, and she's doing her thing and all that. But I think that she um, is the perfect example of so many people that come into the community and kind of watch everybody. Um, at first, just listen to how she described it. She admits, she says, I was in the beast chat. Um, and I listened to her and I even gave her a PayPal once. Um, Josh said, because she was e-bagging for, for food. And she said, <laughs> and it, so she, so I don't want to give it all away, but you know, she, so she gives beast a PayPal and, and beast immediately says, I'm going to go do something else with it. And then she mentions going into Sam's chat and saying, yeah, it's kind of funny at yeah. first, but then. You leave there feeling slimy and mad and not, you know, um, it's a really good video. Thank you, Karen. It's a good video. Okay, so stitching, this is a little bit more tea here. This is almost, stitching says, hello, my daughter, Jocelyn. Oh, should she say that that's your daughter too? <laughs> my daughter. Hold on. Can you give me that lid right there? 
Let me tell you something. <laughs> it's before tasty. we get before we get. Can you grab this lid right here? I yeah, can't. I mean she's doing her nails. As before well, we get back to the, let me just tell you, um, the glue press on nails. Remember press on nails? They don't have that anymore. So now it's glue. Some of you know. Mm. Um, it's come a long way. You will glue your fingers together. You can't pull them apart. Um, oh no, Josh said it. Okay. I was like, I got the idea because, you know, Trisha Paytas doesn't get her nails done. She always has like the, the decorations, but she doesn't, I thought, how does she get them pulled off and put on without them hurting? And she does press on nails. Ah! Uh, you know, this is, it's, okay. it's, it's different if you're expecting yeah. to, it's good. Okay. This is like an actual aloe vera drink. It's good. It tastes like aloe vera. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jocelyn came into the community and she sat back and watched for a little bit. And then she was like, okay. And those of you who know, she and I had a bumpy start. Right. We had a bumpy start and she kept on. And Who, Joss and you? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. I I was like, oh, I know where you hang out. And she was like, and I was Ooh. like, and I and I immediately like blocked her or whatever. I do and remember I was like, that. And then um, everybody, like not everybody, but some people were like, "Be careful, she could be a like a mole or whatever." Right, right. And I'm like, "No, this girl's just sweet as she can be. She there's, is. There's no." Um, I thought it like I heard. I was at work, and then I heard the whole Sam is trying to say that <laughs> we're grooming Joss, and I was like, "How do you groom a 28 year old?" You know, it's like it, it but in the context of that she's it's young okay. or whatever. And I was thinking about it, and I was mulling it over, and I'm like. It's, it's, it just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. She's, Sam is sloppy, man. She's starting to get, she's, she's lost a lot of her, um, I don't want to use the word moxie because we have a friend named moxie, but, um, yeah. She's... And of course I gave my opinion of that. You know, someone was asking me, I mean, what's the deal? Why does, why does Telfer keep thinking you know, that things are going to change with her. And it's like everybody understands. She doesn't She doesn't understand how her channel is perceived. It's not perceived like when she's with Yaba and this and that. She has her own channel, and her channel is perceived to be a negative, ugly, drag people channel. It's not, it's not known to be a positive channel. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Yeah. You don't go over there for your pearls of wisdom and, and feel good. Well, that's why I'm like, I mean, you, she can use me for content and drag me, but mm -hmm. every once in a while, it's like, why don't you find somebody else? That, like, yeah. why don't you change it up a little mm -hmm. bit and not, because I, I don't. She she understands she hasn't sufficiently, I mean, everybody knows she didn't do anything to us. That's the, that's why, you know, she yeah. didn't leave a mark and uh, she won't. No, so. can't go to jail for not liking somebody. I had to go get days off at work. They didn't fire me. I had to go no. get days off. I try but, not to give that one any attention because I, know. I think she goes and pleasures herself. Um, but I remember when I wore the Bucky shirt and the hat the other day when Sean and I were out and about and I took a couple of pictures and then like people like zoomed in on them and said, I Sean. showed it on the live stream too. Yeah. Um, well, no, no, the one when we were at Bucky. Yeah, the one. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. So then, so she goes and throws a Bucky's t shirt on and a hat and, and takes a picture and it's like, yeah, but your girl is obsessed. She's she's and in doing love. she's in beast mode and not in the good beast way. <laughs> I'm like, no, well, I'm talking about Sam. I know, but she's in beast yeah, mode. She's in beast mode, but not a good beast mode. You know, like the beast. Yeah, mode. and you're right, Jocelyn. That and Jocelyn is very open. Watch her first video. I think that it's so refreshing that people are open about some of these diagnoses that used to people wouldn't wouldn't talk about. Yeah. Um, like Trisha Paytas was the first one, to, well, not the first one, but she really came out and she said, yeah, I've got BPD. What yeah. about it? And, um, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, yeah. it I makes me cool. like consider because I always, one of the things when I watched Telfer and had been friend, friends with her and you know, the way she treated other people is some of her abandonment, um, uh, borderline stuff that she does. And I, sometimes I, you know, I, I identify that as, and I vocalize it and I have to be careful because there's a lot of people that, that you know, it. have a diagnosis and, um, you know, it's merely my explanation for why she does the things that she does to people that she was friends with or that she had a relationship with. Yeah. Hey, right and wrong. Yeah. I, cause I told Joss, I said, just, just so you know, when, if you make a video, mm -hmm. be ready, she mm -hmm. is going to be on you. Like, and she goes, what the hell? She was like, <laughs> I, I don't, what is she going to do? And I said, well, 
sh nothing, but she's going to talk because this is the biggest sin that Jocelyn committed in her video from yesterday. She said that she liked me and I was a good person and she considered me a friend. That is number one, not okay in Sam's mm -hmm. world. You have to be destroyed. You have to be um, mm -hmm. convinced allowed, that I'm not, no. I'm not friend material. And it's very concerning. It's it. That's why I think that they must. She and Yaba must not be together. They have to be. They have, There's they no have to way. be having problems. It must be a bumpy road. I mean, what if all of a sudden, you know, one of us just went off on a rant, you know, just day after day about, you know, targeting, and, and it's like, dude, where's Sean? You know, where's it's where's Mandy at? Yeah, I mean, this, it's this can't be okay. Very you know? very interesting to me. Do yeah. you, so it was other inevitable than though. It was an, even if they were together, um, and even if they are together, um, sooner or later, Sam Telfer is going to be Sam Telfer. She's going to come out and um, try to drum up some kind of, you know, something, some type of beef. In other news, she also out loud again thanked Angela for all the screenshots that she sent her about everything. And, and I'm like, and that's all that we need from you. So that's what's kind basically, of, she was yeah. like, and on that note, and I was See like, you later. oh Lord. Anyway. Bye -bye. But that's how that's how that went down. So what I want to I want to um, talk a little bit about Anna Nicole's and her videos, if if we could, can we do that? Yeah, because I'm not even sure. I think, I think I've did. watched more of them than you have. Either. Yeah, I saw the yeah. And um, I like them. I I don't I I was watching them and I was interested in the comments. And she does she goes back and she gets a lot of old drama community stuff. Mandy's in some of them, pre Tomahawk Mandy. Okay, before she was you know head over heels, you know, with yeah. me. And, you know, Randy's in them. Diane's in, in a couple. I think she's in mm -hmm. one. And Katie. Um, a, a much bigger but healthier looking Katie. You know, K Katie was healthier back then. I mean, believe, you know, whatever. And then I, I was interested in, because there's a lot of new people in the, you know, in the old, you know, that have come watch some of our platforms. And it, it, there's a couple takeaways that I want y'all to consider if you're watching Anna Nicole's thing. Well, I was looking in the in the comments, and there was one comment that said, "This doesn't like make Mandy look good." And I was thinking about it, and I was like, "I don't understand why." You know, was it because you were in on panel with some other people? And then I realized it's a troll account. It's somebody else that created an account because I looked at it. And it was a comment from somebody with no Abby that is three weeks old. Oh, is it three uh -huh. weeks old? Ah, so it's somebody else. And then the comments underneath it, oh, she's such a snake. Or they're all like two week old troll accounts. Um, but what I want people to realize, every everybody that you see on these videos that Anna Nicole like them, hate them, um, they all have platforms still. They all are creators. You know, Randy, um, Diane was not so much Katie. Mandy. It's truly an OG. It, 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 was, it, was, yeah. it was, this is where when people say OG DC, this is some of them. And it was October the 31st. It was Halloween. I remember mm -hmm. that panel. It was Halloween because my kids were had outgrown trick or treating, yep. but some other people's, was it 2018 maybe? I don't know. I think it was earlier than that. I think it was because it was. It no, was during pizza game. We were, we were, oh no. So that had to be like 17 at least because Halloween of 18 um, your son was at basic training still. We, if you say Halloween of 18, we were together the following spring. So there was a lot of time in between that. Okay. Had to be at least another year. But it, it, the takeaway is, is that, so if you notice the, all these platforms, they don't really take a side, you know, they don't go for one another. Every once in a while, I'm going to say it, Randy would take, um, like when DC, they're bringing up the little rosy thing and DC was going to talk about it. And Randy took her, did a live and was bringing up Mandy and this and that, you notice that it didn't really go anywhere. And you know why? Because Anna Nicole has a video with, you know, um, Rosie on there and Uber on there. And it tells what happened and all the OGs, when something's brought up from the past, we all know what the actual truth is is so somebody can spin it and say this or say that everybody knows Anna Nicole's shedding some light on what the truth is and that's why and if you look at it people know what Randy's past is in this and that in the drama she still has people that follow her and like her they don't care 
There are people that know who I was with. And when I broke up with that person and came over here, they're still there with me and Mandy. They don't care. Um, Wendy's people that like her, they don't care about, about what she's done. Katie's people, believe it or not, they're still in her chat in droves. Um, that's the thing. All these people, the o, the OGs and the DC have platforms and they still work for them. Um, so just consider that. I mean, when you look at Anna Nicole's videos, look at the people that are on panel. You know they all have their own platforms. Diane's kind of gone, but she did well. She comes back every once yeah, in a while. Yeah, she comes back every once in a while. I like them. I don't think it really, um, to new people who think a certain way or have been told different things about stuff that have went on, it might mold their opinions a little bit, but people that have been here for five or six years, uh, it you know, it just is what it is. Anyway, yeah. I just wanted to say that. And it's a good point. I like them. I like the videos. They were interesting for me to see. Yeah. I remember that panel in particular um, because I cried. And um, so that goes to show you sitting on my living room floor on this mm. thing. And it was, it was all because it was the pizza thing and who sent it. And I thought I knew, I mean, I knew who sent it. They denied it. They apologized, so I'm not even gonna go there again. Yeah. That that was the that was, um, but it I've seen it several times now come up on different things, mm -hmm. and when people say like, oh, this makes you know, ATX look bad or whatever, I'm like, do they know that it was four years ago? That yeah, wasn't like last it. It week. Wasn't, it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it's not like they were all on panel yesterday, and it's like people that are here now that have only been here for in whatever watching our channels and this and that. We're in three years. We're, you know, what will you, how will you consider this? And, we, you know, maybe you'll be a content creator and this and that. Um, it was really, really interesting because I was with the Beast then. I didn't. And, I wonder but, if it was just before Dr. Phil. I think it was before that. If you guys. No, were, I don't think it was that far back. Well, or maybe around then. Someone but, must, I mean, someone knows. But that's, obviously, that's, when it that's was. fall 2017, though. Yeah, I just remember it was, I do think that it was just before Dr. Phil. It might have been. But the, the thing is, is that it... No, I didn't see it stitching. Um, I don't typically watch hers, but I am subscribed. She can't stand me for mm. some reason. I don't know why, like, I don't know the history with that. But no, I, I haven't, I didn't see it last night. So I don't know what it was about. Jenny Jin Jin. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, Where was she? Who's, what chat did I see her in? She talked over in Savage's chat, right? Yeah. And see, so Mandy has a wrench in Savage's chat. Jenny Jen Jen has a wrench in Savage's chat. And they're not, and Jen Jen and Mandy are not friends. Well, and I just, mean, I just don't, we used to be cordial. I don't know what happened. Well, yeah. Well, so, but, so that's the way hey, it goes. Hey, Carlo, Carlos, I saw you doing the Lord's work today. Good job. He, <laughs> he was in the beast thing going, you didn't mm. have COVID. <laughs> and, and you know, Carlos has been around for a while because he calls me Hawk. Well, he Remember and, that and back in yeah, the day? <laughs> she said that he was um, you, that you were this Carlos oh, was in was. there, and that it was and it was Ike, and I'm like, God, I wish he was home. He didn't mm -hmm. get home till seven fifteen. Who used to call? Was it most, most of the guys like Yuri used to call me Hawk. Yeah, it's funny. Um, he's funny. I anyway. I think he's hilarious. I was. I was pleased as pie when I found out he did. Because you still, I would say hi to him and stuff like mm, from way back. Mm. And he would be like, why are you saying hi? And I was like, oh. <laughs> I've always, and I used to go, well, yeah, I used to go, is he one person or a bunch of people? Because nobody really mm. knew mm -hmm. if he was like, if it was like a group. Yeah, he was like, you were you were out there doing the thing. Um, uh, Mallory Williams got her receipt. She went, oh, from when? From St. Jude or what? I Yeah, I didn't see it. Um, That's one I will not watch. Who, Mallory? Yeah, I can't Is she see the one it. that has the twisty jewelry type of stuff? That ugly ass jewelry. I don't think she's making it anymore, but no. yeah, it was, I mean, I can go get some paper oh, clips and, and twist them to, together. Have you and, ever heard Shannon talk about the jewelry? <laughs> You guys watch Shannon. Um, and she would sell it for a ton like, of money. Shannon would just lambast her for it all the time. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's some ugly jewelry, but maybe it's just not my taste. Um, I Yeah, she when she went in there and then B said, Boho, are you the real one? And she's like, yeah. She's like, okay. And it's like, what troll is going to admit? <laughs> and how, how do you not know the real ones? I mean, 
your wrench holders, we kind of know them. Yeah. I mean, it, did it, you see what happened on the asylum with host Steve Billings? I was watching a little bit that what last happened? night. Bridget, you asked... Bridget was on there. I was watching it last night. What happened though? What was the yeah. punchline, Carlos? He had, a, he had a a good crowd. That's why I asked. Oh, I know? don't. Um, while he types that. Um, wanted proof she doxed people with receipts and they she had she got her receipts that she doxed people. Oh, um wow. the other thing is um domestic violence live on the air. Oh my gosh, really? Like someone Who? Who? Wow. Well, he must have taken it. I mean I was watching it last night, remember, and I was asking you about it. I don't that's crazy. That's crazy. I, I didn't I know you were asking I said yeah um, some lady's husband beat her live on the air, choked and punched her. Oh my like god! Like when she was on panel, you mean? Oh my god, Carlos, you're being for real, right? I think it's still wow. No. Wow, it's still up. I know. Wow. I remember that was last night about nine or so. You're taking I think. a bath, I think. Yeah, and, and I was just because every so often I get the notification, and I don't really know Steve wow. Billings, but he every so often I would get tagged, and I don't know why. He, I think, don't really, he, he, he thinks we're okay. Yeah, and so I, when I would get tagged, I would go over and watch and lurk. I don't know anybody in there. What's wrong, and Sawyer? So, yeah, the, if anybody can see, give me a wrench and I'll let you listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Act, I mean, you know what? I, I would, I would. it has nothing to do with not um, wanting a rogue mod because I know you're, no, I don't know. I don't know who, Carlos has about 25 accounts. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so that, and then the other, the one other thing, which wasn't related to any of that, but it was something that happened on the YouTube recently or today. Oh, I wouldn't know if it happened today. I see it on Twitter. I don't know what would have happened if it was. I didn't, um, follow the lead. Okay. Um, no, it was something else that happened today and I was, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we are, we're in April. The, 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 the classroom project right. chickens started hatching today. So Yay. we don't have um, an update yet on how many have hatched and how many. Um, yes, absolutely, Rick Stein. Um, keep the, um, oh yes, did you, that, that's part, did you hear about the Nashville shooting? It was a school shooting. At, yes. It was like a church. church and it, the shooter and it was her. killed and all that? Or and killed? she was, it was a female. Wow. A female. Um, absolutely. Keeping followers, keeping prayers, the family that lost their loved ones in Tennessee. So sad. Yeah. It, um, it was a female. I, I, the last I saw it, they thought it was a teenager. Whoa. Yeah. It's extremely sad. Um, and it, and it was a rough weekend. Um, really bad tornado in mississippi on saturday saturday <laughs> evening yeah um, i'm laughing I remember at karen i went I, would, I had to go to work real early oh, on sunday okay, so when i get to when i get to work mm. on sunday um it, it the the real aftermath you know the sun was coming up so people were getting a look at mississippi the next day they you know the there's like 26 killed oh wow and it, it this really, it happens and it happens during the day and into the night. And you really don't really get any good intel until the next day. Yeah. Um, Hurricane Katrina was like that. A lot of, uh, a lot of hurricanes are like that. Oh, Abe, speaking of, I don't know if that's the real him too. It's held for, that you were actually the one I was talking about. Evil Abe, um, beautiful, cool Nicole says she's done with him. She Done. didn't want none. And Evil Abe played it. And did, I saw that today. She said, if this you're is, an asshole, Abe. She did. You're an asshole. She said she did. And j those of you who know that it's not making fun of her, like that is. That's she, how she talks. That's how she talks. And it's yep. there's no yep. like specialness there. Nope. She said that, um, what did she say, Abe? She said that she'll never have your back again. Abe was pissed. I think that, really? I think he is. They were good friends, but she always comes back. She's racist. She's slated special. Oh, yeah. She says that the Special Olympics is racist. Well, I don't know whether they are or they aren't, but I mean. I mean, I would have to have more context. Oh, and she said know. Vegas Barbie. That that was actually the other That's drama. Funny. How crazy that you came through because. Vegas Barbie's here? 
no, no, e Abe was saying, and I heard that on we the were, replay, so too. We were watching last night um, while we were fading off to bed. I was watching Motley Crue's wow. last concert on Axis. And, you know, Mandy is, you know, kind of chides me in, in a funny way, you know, because I'm older, but I'm a big hairband guy, right? And she was like, kind of right here, snuggled up. And what did you say something about it? I like when we watch it. Yeah, she, but she doesn't really know I like Def Leppard and her brother and sister do. So I have like a bunch of concerts, you know, Aerosmith, Def Leppard, all that. Kiss, we watched Kiss and uh, Vegas, a bunch of them. Um, so Vince Neil, we were watching Motley Crue's their last concert ever, 2019 concert. And we're watching it. And I had mentioned that Vegas Barbie had said in our chat, I said, that's Vince Neil. Vegas Barbie said, and this was when we lived in Texas, that Vince Neil asked her out. You know, That's so it's, cool. it's, it's kind of really it's ironic, ironic that um, she's being mentioned now. I because... thought that the Gene Simmons was like the total lead. I didn't know Paul Stanley mm -hmm. or anything like that. But when he, Sean was like, "Watch, he's going to start spitting blood," and she didn't think, didn't believe him. And then all of a sudden, and he's like, and his, you know, he's got that crazy tongue, and there's yeah. like blood flying everywhere, yep. and they've got and, a black and, light and she, on or whatever. And she's like, "Oh, he's doing a bass solo the whole time." And she's like, "Oh no." <laughs> Oh no! This is this is this is this is evil. You know. No, I was like, this is why I wasn't allowed to watch yeah, it yeah. because it's just like this. But it was interesting, and then I was like, well, is then this has to be the last song of the show because he's going to have it all over him. And, and you're like, makeup's all smeared. He's like, no, it's about the middle of the show. It was yeah, and yeah. I was like, um, yeah, Evil Apes says Def Leppard is still good. Yeah, and I was that's what I always find it's interesting to put the pieces together of these songs. And who like who the bands actually are? And I was like, didn't Pamela Anderson bang the drummer? And you were well, like, no, no not Anderson. Nikki Six. No, Nikki Six is the bassist. She was married to Tommy Lee. And he's the drummer. He's the drummer for De or for um for Motley Crue. For Motley Crue. But we weren't watching Motley. We were first. At but first. who's Nikki Six? He's the bassist for Motley Crue. Okay, so that was two different groups. Right. Uh, yeah. Kiss is the ones with all the makeup. I liked the Kiss one better. I was telling her about Ace Fraley, but it wasn't Ace Fraley. It was that guy Thayer dressed like Ace Fraley. Um, He's like, let me get over there. Let no, me get over there. This is my dog. My dog. Um, this, is, this is Soy Brown right here. It, I Soy love Brown. it when we watch them. And, it, and especially because Sean loves it. So if it's been a long day or whatever, he'll watch it and we'll laugh and talk. And I'll be like, because my yeah. sister was born the year he was born. Right. Um, so they know the same stuff. But, and then I was like, what, um, I was like, I'm not judging this music at all. It's not mine, but it's interesting. But what makes someone become a fan of that type of music? She asked me that. Like, like what, what about it? Cause you're obviously not going to just hum it going through your. But it was the thing. Like you said it was everywhere. In the eighties, mid eighties. I graduated high school in 87. The Shout at the Devil album, I think was 84. It might've been earlier, 83. Um, so that whole genre of hair metal, Mandy really oh, likes yeah. Brett Michaels, Poison, you I know, do. so he's got a couple hey, creative he, newborns. He's got, Hey, he's got a couple duets with like Miley Cyrus that one of, <laughs> it's one of the favorite, your favorite songs that I played for you when we first yeah. started dating. It's a song called, it's me. You're talking, it's, it's me. You're talking to it's called, and I, it's not old because yeah. Miley Cyrus I mean, is in it. I mean, but, Brett but Michaels, I mean, it wasn't like from the seventies or something. He was a lead singer of poison. He did rock a love. He, he just keeps reinventing himself over and over. Yeah. Uh, it's a good song. But Mandy asked me things like, how do you become a fan of this? It's what I grew up with. Yeah. I mean, in, when I graduated from high school, I had the mullet, you know, um, here in Georgia. 1987, and it's what we listened to, you know. Um, Deep Purple had a new album back then. No. Queensryche, prior to their Empire album, is heavy metal. It, yeah. That's what we listened to. I did, like, I just, and I was, like, I was talking about how, like, there are several illegitimate children from rock stars. Yeah. Like, Liv Tyler, and mm -hmm. he he tried to say it, she wasn't his. Well, and then like they him. were like, no. She looks just like yeah. him. Yeah. And who was the oldest... It, there is someone who's in their 70s, a rock star, a dude that just had a newborn. And I couldn't find... Was it, well, didn't Rod Stewart has one that's pretty old? That but not it? like... No, this one was born within the last year. Drama, you and the person that shall not be named will stop. You both <laughs> went low. I agree. And I don't mean his... Yeah, no, no. I know who you're talking about. She just needs to... She needs to just qu quit doxing me. And, and she can review me all day long, but quit doxing Right, me. right, Abe. What do you yeah. think of Minnie Manson? You're right, Abe. Well, I mean... Marilyn Manson? Minnie Manson is what she said. What is I think that? That's like, what she means, Marilyn Manson. Oh. I mean, uh, 
Yeah, so Abe, Abe must be talking about your former boardroom. She person. is yeah, because I mean, he's, he's cordial with both of us. Now yeah, you're going to be getting in trouble. You're going to get in trouble now, but I, it's just like this. Abe. I don't want to. Once you, you, you know, fucked with her as friends, like both of us were, you realize that, you know, she's interesting and, and she's kind of like. Stop. Got a strong personality, but she really ain't about shit. She's not going to do, actually do anything to you. Um, so that's kind of how we hung in there. And we got a lot of support. Still do. Stop, Slayer Brown. Um, but in, the important thing is, I like when creators attack creators. No, <laughs> yeah. You never know if Abe's trolling or not. He may be, like, saying that he wants it to end, but he doesn't. But um, what, yeah, he had a mullet. Um. Oh my God, Abe. Is, is Andy is, if Andy's in here, he probably isn't, or he'd say, hey, but didn't y'all make like a little cover band of Kiss? Yeah, we did. And y'all thought you were gonna, everyone's racist to her, Abe. Everyone's Look, racist. Look, I'm gonna show them. I, I can't believe how good you had these on the wall. I just pulled them off. And now you pulled them off my wall? My wall. No, it's okay. Mandy did this for me. Um, in my little man cave that I'm never in. I have some of my albums and she framed them. Uh, this, that's the actual album. And look Is at that his, the actual album? Yeah, look at his face there. Yeah, he's See? a weirdo. He said he's had sex with like 20,000 Yeah, that was his big, that was his big hang. But how he didn't do you have sex with 20,000? He wasn't, he didn't do drugs and all that. Um, he just this is my uh, Slash signed at, so. And Slash is in Guns N' Roses? Guns N' Roses, yeah. I got it. They were a little later. Appetite was like 91, I think. Oh, really? Um, I was in college for that one. And then in Germany for Illusion. And here's one of my Aerosmith ones. So. Um, I forgot. I, I, there's another one, though, that's you have the drawing of him. But that's that, in that's, the tube. That's Ace Fraley. We oh. need to get that one framed. Was that the one that's sitting in the corner? I'm well, going to get it. If you, know, if you pull it out. I'm pulling carrot, it out. I don't know that it's I'm, in that one. I'm going to whip it out. Hold on. He's going to whip it out. Stand by, Abe and Carlos. It's about to come <laughs> out. Um, now the record. Yes. I was asking, Sean. I was like, do you want one of those retro record players and start like collecting albums or whatever? Yeah, they made a comeback. But he... He was like, how do they, I guess they can compete with iTunes and stuff because it's just such a different collective type of thing or whatever. Um, yeah, no, you're right. Like, like he said, you're, his grandmother bought him his first Chris, um, oh, Kiss sure album. Did. And he listened to it over and over and over again. And I was like, your grandmother bought you a Kiss album? I was like 10. What did your parents say? They weren't very happy with grandma. <laughs> was, was it your dad's mom? <laughs> it was my, my dad's mom. Aw, well, she could do no wrong. So I got this years ago. Look, 236 Grandview Drive. You this had was the rent. One of your animals have chewed I on know. It. This was the rent house where I got this. Oh, wow. So, you were allowed um, to buy that. I know. This is when I was with someone else who will not be named. Um, it made it out of hell. And I want, see, it's pretty cool. So when you're the babe like ATX here, she goes in, goes through my stuff because she's allowed because she's the missus now. And she hangs it up and she does all my sports stuff She's in got there. a Grateful Dead tapestry in yeah. there. Yeah. But this one, this is very, very cool. This is. Who did it? Ace Fraley. It was a drawing, like a paint drawing. Where'd you get it off um, of? I got it off of eBay like and in 19... 19, uh, like 2014. You didn't throw that away, no, you dumb boy. Yeah, no, that has yet to be matted in frame, but, but we um, are going to do that. We did the one from, is that Fallujah? Um, that was, uh, Najah. I always get that wrong. But so Ace Fraley was like, whenever I did kiss as She's, a kid with my cousin, I was, said he was Ace. surprised he had small nips. Who said that? Abe. Jocelyn, have you met Abe who's in here? Um, Joss, meet Abe. <laughs> My Some kid asked his German grandfather for Minecraft, and he got Mein Kampf. There's a video on it. No way. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is That's... funny. Um, apparently, though, like, if you get the translated thing of Mein Kampf, it's just rambling, incoherent stuff, isn't it? Hitler it was, wrote it, right? Yeah. He, and it was just rambling it was... silliness. 
Really? Um, when did he write that, though? It he was read during it. World War II, wasn't I mean, it? He wrote it before. Yeah, but he was already losing his mind a little bit. Um, some say she had a boob job as well as with teeth from a show. Are they real? I don't... Who are you talking about? Um... <laughs> Abe is, Abe is, 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 I think he's talking about the beast. Yes. Fake teeth and fake boobs from oh, a Rhode Island makeover. Yeah, she. But um, they're expired now. They're very expired. So she got that done in, I think, 2005. And we got together in 2009. So. So she was like a new car coming off the lot. Yeah, it was, she was still had low mileage, I guess. <laughs> 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 she was gently used. Now yeah, she's, no, she's uh she's not gently used. I like the twenty. She's on. now at a buy here, pay here. If you're looking for it her, it was like a car that had kept had been redone over and over. I was like the twenty fifth owner, <laughs> and um, it was still in fairly good or looked at a good paint job. Put it that way. And then, it, it's <laughs> it's it all that stuff has to be maintained though. Yeah, that's it does. why like. I can say all day long, oh, I wouldn't get that. And I wouldn't, even if they gave it to me for free, um, I wouldn't do that. But I really wouldn't because you may get it for free, but in 10 years, yeah. you're going to have to to do some, like, they're not silicone, the tatas are silicone, not saline. No, saline, not silicone. Um, it, there's lots of things. And then you got to keep up the veneers or they start to slide down like hers have. And um, the the work that she had done right here, I guess they took something out. Now she's got the skin, the jowls that come down. Now, so, she, now she looks like a basset hound. <laughs> she looks like droopy dog. <laughs> Sorry. I've never heard that. I really haven't heard that. That's No, you need to, you're not going to jump up on me and beg for whatever. Um, Anyway, Abe always, he, he, he derails us. Saline is, is, it's more safe, but it, no, it's not more safe. But it, it, you have to, they don't even do saline anymore, I don't think, do they? No, um, I remember that, and we talked about this before, to have them redone was like eight grand. Shit. You know. Katie she, says they're going to cut her from just under her breast mm -hmm. all the way down to something and pull it up or whatever. And I'm like, stop, soy run. They're, they're like the cat's causing trouble because it's his bedtime. Um, yeah, so everybody pray for Sean. He said she looks like a basset hound. Um, yes, that's it. I normally don't even give it that much attention because it, um, they love it. They love it. <laughs> they love who he talked to me. <laughs> yeah, she'll be like, she'll, she'll turn it into he's talked about me mm -hmm. for three days straight. Um, that, that's true. That, right, like that he stayed up for 24 mm -hmm. hours, and I'm like, that's not what he was doing last night. No. Hey, Lady, Lady Guinevere, how are you? She says she finally caught a live. Um, the, not Good. that, so there's a big, like, misunderstanding that, um, that Jay, that, that Katie has no channel anymore. She does. It's Ruthless White Girl. Hmm. Ruthless white girl. And I'm trying to think. There's a picture on it. Um, okay, I do have to read this. Okay. Mandy's FRG leader tells all. Do you know who I think that? <laughs> First of all, I was never in the FRG because I wasn't an officer's wife. Do you guys wife. know what FRG is? These people don't even know. It's called Family Readiness Group. I know who that is. <laughs> That's a dude, isn't it? It's probably. Um, no, I think that it's someone who thinks they know something about, like, what I, like, I, I uh, FRG, for those of you who don't know, is Family Readiness Group. group yeah. And they, they, it's usually wise, but it can be husbands, too, of, of active duty members. And you do things like during deployments, you, it's like a support group, you, when, you know, mm. things like that. It's mostly officers' wives and mm. senior NCO wives that they, the, um, the, but I was an E6's wife, and nobody was interested in me being an FRG leader, nor did I have one. And I don't think his ex was in the FRG, was she? My, my ex? Yeah, my, you have to be, right? Wife number one? Nah, placeholder never... No, 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 no. There, that didn't exist. But you have to. Once you start commander. When she, yeah, once you start, you have to, like... So, which she really wasn't down to do it, so my XO was doing it with his girlfriend or whatever. Um, 
But that's... <laughs> You're what? They my, did it with his girlfriend? Yeah, my executive officer did. Oh, that it was, sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sucks. It's harder for me to t go back to those times yeah. than it is to talk about. Well, and and um, so you did get my attention on that. Now you need to be hidden, but that was funny. No, they came back and said, Mandy's FRG leader tells all, and their comment was, you always wanted to be that officer's wife. Can you, first of all, I have given him such shit about officer's wives and mm. that I was not an officer's wife. But then I said, no, if it, the time had been different, hell yeah. I'd have been able to pull that off and been yeah, like... Yeah, she would have been. I, we, we talk about it sometimes. Like when I was in the military and like I, I spent, you know, the first like eight years as an enlisted and then I became an officer. So I had both sides of the fence. Mandy would have been a fantastic officer's wife. And she really... She's down with the etiquette, man. You know, if you, you've seen her, the pictures with her with their tea party stuff on, she, she can, she's, she knows etiquette for sure. Yeah. And once I mean, you start climbing the ranks and you get up there, mm -hmm. it's important that you have a significant other that number one has the household under control mm -hmm. and number two can have dinner parties and pre you could, they, people can say, no, it doesn't matter. No, it helps. It does. It helps. Especially it when you start getting Because up there. there are times with like the lieutenant colonels, the battalion commanders, we would go over there where the subordinate commanders, I was the company commander, he would host like his company commanders at, to his house. Not with the mm -hmm. wives, but just like a officer professional development, like maybe it's five officers. But the wife, the missus was in the the beverages, the refreshments and stuff. They were they were like Thank the, you, Lady Quinever. They were like Yeah, then no, the no, I got gotcha. did that. And um yeah. yeah. The um the the colonels and above got housekeepers. Yeah. They got housekeepers. Yeah. Like there's only about seven on the commander's loop. So they're they were mainly, probably most of them were generals, but there was a couple of colonels, and they and you could apply to be their housekeeper. Wow! No, no, that no. would have been a great <laughs> role. Would that be role playing? Um, yes, I don't uh, think they would hire someone. I think they would hire got, like uh, not the bachelor guys, right? <laughs> um, Did you see that? Is like your your housekeeper shows up and you open the door right. and ATX is there like. Well, and I don't clean showers <laughs> naked for people. I don't do that. That's prostitution. Um, Soy brown. Get. <laughs> they're okay. No, they are, but. It actually. Scout's, scout's like. Scout's getting him in trouble because he comes yeah. over and picks on him. He does it like every that. time. And then the cats, you know, a cat will get a dog in trouble every time. Yep. Hey, Paula. Um, lady Guinevere, I haven't modded or unmodded anyone in a long time. Are you thinking about like. When we had the rogue mod and we had to mod everybody, that was the last time. We've had this kind of group for a while. Yeah. We had to... We've had a good group. I did mean, the rogue mod follow us here? Yeah, we just got it out. Like, no, no, no. I know that, but it had... No, we never had the us. problem. Since we moved to Georgia, the rogue mod problem was in Texas when we were there. Um, and then when Thank we moved right to on. Georgia, we didn't do anything for about a year. But what I'm saying is, and Karen takes credit for being the one that... Right when stuff started heating up with that other creator, not the ex, she's too stupid. She's mm -hmm. got her own that she's never going to get out. Yeah. Um, it sucks having a rogue mom. We love you we, too. It we, sucks. We, and I'm here to tell you, Beast, you're not going to get it out. That's all I'm saying. And I am not going to go any further. But you have not and will not until unless that person makes a serious boo-boo and gets discovered. And they're not. <laughs> they're not. Trust me. Um. It's crazy that um it's crazy. So anyway, that was when Karen got on it. Um um Karen got on it because when it started heating up with the old um bo not I don't want to say Bohemoth, let's not fat shame. Uh whale juice. That's her girlfriend calls her. Yeah, yeah. I don't You can say Behemoth, we're no, all behemoths. Well they they said I'm a Bohemoth. You're my behemoth. <laughs> Sawyers, you're taking a lot of attention yeah, I'm, tonight. I'm, I'm always amazed, you know, when we're Thank talking you. about etiquette, when we're talking and it's like, we we can't, we can't fat shame. And it's like, well, we're not really fat shaming. You got a bunch of really big women calling my wife fat. You know, it's like, I don't get it. I'm like, they're, they're, they're bigger than her. Well, Much bigger than her. The other thing you know? is, like, is the placeholders calls us is saying that we're meth, meth heads. I am the fattest meth head that on the face be of the earth. <laughs> you need to decide, am I fat or am I a meth head? Yeah, because you don't, you're, you don't you're sending me mixed signals. Meth heads aren't systemically no. big people that, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not very good at it. No. If, if 
if that, right? Like you need to be clear signals. Am I a meth head or am I a fat ass? I need to know which one. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't. You can feel either way about and it. Either, whatever opinion you have, I'm still taking her to bed with me, so. And she's like, you have dental, go get your teeth fixed. I have two dentals, actually. Yes, I have does. one through the post office and one, and that, one through his retirement. Right. So one that I'm used to be good. yours. <laughs> it's hers. <laughs> the other one is now, remember when I used That's to say, get crazy. off my insurance? That's crazy when she talks about, get your, with what? With her insurance? I got yeah. two. Anyway. It's whatever. Um, but anyways, um, no, it was, so, what we were talking about was important. Yeah, she, oh, yeah, Karen was laughing. I guess today she was cultivating seeds from her produce to grow in the backyard. Mm. She's going to grow a fig tree, she said. I was like. And you can buy a fig tree. Well, I think it's hard to, um, she has to slow down videos. Of, um, yeah, oh, yeah, she's all, so I'm a meth head. We're both drunk. Your liver is swollen. I have swollen liver. Yeah. Um, and y'all, what was the other thing? Decaying teeth. You have a swollen liver. Am I still like a fourth degree black I'm belt? a meth head. You beat her ass every day. I came like flying you, through the window. You, you woke like up a, every morning and you're like, time for your ass beating. That's what she yeah, says. I mean, and that we're not making fun of. I'm not, not but that's not even violence, consistent with. It, it's, it's what. I don't know. You have guys have heard me say it before. A lot of people that have been victims of domestic violence Jocelyn. or have been in really bad um, relationships <laughs> migrate to Mandy and I's chat because they hear the bullshit that goes on over there and they know that the behavior is not consistent with someone who's a victim yeah. of that. And they end up And they get pretty pissed here. off. They get mad. Oh, and it. you have yeast infections in your ears. I have yeast infections. Oh, and I have a yeast infection. Like, you know where I, the cutie thumb? where I poke it and peel it or whatever, and it stays orange unless oh. I have, like, fake nails. She said it's, like, fungus, right? And she was, like, and she tried to say it was your thumb, then it was my thumb, and it's filled with, she's got an obsession with fungus and yeast. I don't know what that's about. But um, a huge, like, obsession with fungus and yeast, and it's all over both of us. And I'm, like, maybe okay. We, maybe we caught it at the post office and I brought it home. Maybe, maybe before... Maybe before the cleaner came back, oh my God. he sent me, well, the cleaner was out for a while and Sean, um, exact, thank you, Lady Guinevere. Um, all right now I'm suffering because my nails, my real nails are so brittle and frail because I took the fake ones off and I'm going to let them grow and heal a little bit. So when I have to, and they're cut, they're tender and cut on the tips. So when I have to like push you know how when you open a cutie, you push the top and then you pull it, it stings so bad because they're kind of cut or whatever. I don't, I guess you can, I don't know. Let me tell you, um, let me tell you what I do for Sean when he's in the bathtub. I have the, Oops, the, 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 the like trimmer and I, I don't, do I trim for you? Your ear, not, not all this stuff, but your, I trim your ears. Yeah. I sure do. Um, I do it for him. He burnt a house down. <gasps> really? I didn't hear that He's one. He's talking about Poon Handler. Who is Poon Handler? Oh, Poon Handler did do a GoFundMe when they had a yeah, fire. But did they have one? He's Thank on that Jim. one right now. I love it, man. I'll get the little trimmer but and there go was a, and... There was a Poon Handler way back in the, the That's porch the one. days. It's the same person? Oh, no. That was... Um, that wasn't Poon Handler. That was... Oh, Cooter Thumper. Cooter Thumper was Cooter from the Cooter Thumper, thing. that's yeah. right. Yeah. See, Cooter, Cooter Thumper, Poon Handler. I manicure the yeah. hubs here. Yeah. Oh Thank God. you. When I see that it needs to be done, I go when he's in the bathtub and I take care of it. Exactly. Yeah, she, the first couple times she had to ambush me, but then I kind of get used to it. Yeah, I'm like, okay, he lost his plumber certification, Poon Handler did. Oh, that sucks. They made good money. Um, I hate that I'm a serious cutie eater and probably, yeah, it, that's exactly. We'll go through. Through her community page, Guinevere, and you'll see where she says that because I that I I it, I can't even explain it. It's so acidine. Um, but it um, there's lots of pictures of Sean and me in the in her community page. It's a little bit concerning. Yeah. Um, now he does meth. Jo really? Um, evil Abe, you need to watch this this. Um, live court thing out of Kansas. Some days they have like paternity and small claims. Um, 
And uh, those are hilarious. They're, they're, today, ugh, I can't, like, especially when the landlords are like trying to kick out a tenant and they're like squatting in the apartment or whatever, and they go at it head to head, um, it's Zoom court. Yes. Today, there was a lot of times I'll send it a link to Karen and be like, it's, and they don't keep it up. Yeah. They, they, they take, take it down, down but, um, the chats in there are hilarious. Like today when they would, the judge would sign off on the evictions, they'd be like, bye, Felicia. <laughs> in the chat? They'd yeah. That. Yeah, it was so funny. Didn't like one guy, uh, well, did, like the, um, the, the one person that was getting evicted was being like racist with the, with the land, with the, uh, what do you call it? With the landlord and the landlord was like, he was calling me Asian. Yeah, he this was this that. Vietnamese landlord that, that was trying to get, she didn't, wasn't even paying rent. She was like squatting and he owned a nail salon too. And he was like, I go to my nail salon and then I come back and then she won't get out. And so the judge is like looking through the text and he goes, she said, I'm an Asian loser. I'm a <laughs> loser and I'm Asian. And the judge goes, yeah, I see that. I see that. And it was, it's it reminded nice. me of, um, what was that one? Ownage pranks. Do you guys ever watch Ownage Pranks? He was like, she was like, go do nails. And he was like, and I do do nails. I have a nail salon. <laughs> <That's> a nail. <laughs> he did. That's what he said. He goes, and she, and then he goes, and, and so that he signed off on the eviction. And then the landlord goes, oh, and by the way, the apartment next door to 16, it's vacant. She used that address to get $12,000 during COVID and f defrauded the government. And the girl's like, goes from popping off at the mouth to going, <laughs> and the judge tells and it's it, like cricket cricket yeah and i thought the judge would go this is not the time or the place for this and the judge you could see her jotting something down and she said i encourage you to to call the kansas bureau of investigation or whatever but the girl went from popping up and she was like i was like he just it just got real you just it got he real just told i see your comments uh lady guinevere thank you um it means a lot she says seeing how done and broken sean was on dr phil and today is like night and day I feel that way. I, f I feel the same way. It, 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 I've been allowed to kind of, you know, when you get out, <laughs> it's funny because that night when, when I left, when I was texting with Sam yeah. and Sam was like, it's so much better when you get through to the other side of a bad relationship. And you know what? She, those were the truest words that were ever yeah. said to me. Um, and it's ironic that it was from her, you know? But anyway. I said, I think she was plotting. She liked your little monthly sum of money that you got, too. She was looking for someone to cling to. And I think you were on the docket. The thing is, is that, um, yeah, I, I never even considered that Hello. because I was friends with her. You know? Yeah. And, you know, you've heard, y'all have heard me. Mandy, ATX, and Sam were doing hey, the April. boardroom. And I was friends with, with ATX a little bit. But, um, and we had done a panel before. Mandy and I had, but I was friends with Sam. I mean, I, I was like in ATX happened to be her friend. So it, so when we got together, it just wasn't okay to Sam. You guys have heard me say it a million times and I never could figure that out. I could never figure it out, but it, I think he know. was one of the, the, I, I don't think it has anything to do with sexuality. I think it has to do, I mean, sexual orientation. I think it has to do with who she can Get with manipulate and get that yeah. she's not going to have to work or do anything, and, she, I, and that makes sense now in hindsight because she saw she saw um, and though she was friends with um, Beast and I, I don't think she really respected our relationship. No. I don't think anybody, I don't blame anybody for that. Hey, yoga. Um, but so it would make sense now that it would be like, well, I can, I can use that guy better or mm -hmm. something like that, or I can. And and for all the people that are now saying, you know, ATX interfered. Everybody knew what their relationship was like. Sean and Trisha, that's just what they did. They fought and they'd get back together. And she came in the middle of it. Those same people were telling him to leave. The same people. The same people were telling was, him to yeah, get so the hell out. I'm, uh, I got a ton. You know, you go see the Tomahawk Sean channel, that that time frame, all the views I was getting. on, And <laughs> it was you, like people were like, I'm like, well, I'm seeing somebody, you know. And, and they're in the community and I'm not really ready to say who it is yet. Sean, you deserve happiness. So whoever it is. Whoever it is, it's just you deserve it. Well, it's Mandy ATX. Oh, not that bitch. Not oh, that I can't one. do that then, you know. So that one is that I was like, I'm telling you. <laughs> when he said, I don't think I was like, wait, there's wait, a lot wait. of people that don't like me. <laughs> and, and it's I don't really think they they genuinely don't like you because 
you're not likable. I think it was just the drama thing. Yeah. I mean. Look at that. Well, it, like the shady thing came around about the pizza time. Right. And then I was but like, I, not yeah. for nothing, but this is who sent it. And everybody was like, you're a lying bitch. And I was like, okay, you're shady, you're this, you're that. And then they're like, oh, yeah, those people did send it. We They admitted yeah, we, we yeah. sent it. And and I oh, I say that only to be like, but then I kept the shady you, the you shady so tag. Scared. No, because, I, I mean, yeah, whatever. I but it was like, anyway, that's why I cried. Because I was like, y'all are y'all are lying. Yeah. Y'all know that you did it. And here anyway. I am. I'm promoting Anna Nicole. It's like, go watch Mandy ATX cry. I had Old a hair piece in. Did you know that? I was trying to figure you out. You know that was, that one in the Ziploc bag and the mm, thing? Mm. It's it's you put your hair in it was blonder and then you put you put your hair in it like a bun and then you put it in it looks mm. like you've like done an updo. Ah. It was a hair piece. And um Yeah, oh, okay. so You're that's real surgery? real that's like what so 17, which is probably six years old, these videos. Uh yeah, DC stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Lady Guinevere's going through some oral surgeries. Oh. Um, yes. That's, um, what are you having fixed? Is it like, uh, anyway, you don't have to say it here if you don't want it. You can send me a DM, but I'm so sorry. That was one of the other comments I was reading, like, uh, in one of the videos I was watching that, that Anna Thank Nicole you. replayed. And they're in there, and this it, it's this I, once again. You know, when you first read somebody and they're going in on your significant other, not everybody's, but Mandy's the same way. If she sees somebody going in on me, she gets pissed. But I always say, just try to figure out. Like, and I quickly clicked on the links, and it was a troll account, so it's somebody else. It's like a thank you, love, a boho or somebody, I mean, somebody, yeah. you know, um, or an Angela or somebody like that. Um, and they're like, and Mandy and Sean were both married and they were both in, and it was like, no, I was living in my freaking Mustang. I might've been legally married. But you got, and you know what? It made it so much better. Let me just say, if you haven't <laughs> tried it, give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is like Mandy ATX was a home wrecker. So, you know, that would be me. Yeah. I got on the plane and flew to, flew to Austin and met her. So I'm the home wrecker. <laughs> and to see, it's kind of easy, you know, unless you're Angelo, Angelo will, I'm a whore. I'm a whore. He's a good um, whore. I'm a whore. But there's such a double standard. You know, it, it's, I can be a homewrecker. She couldn't be. So it doesn't work right to call me a homewrecker. No. It doesn't work right. It's like. Is that a song? There's a song called Homewrecker, right? A couple of them, probably. I think there's a country song called Homewrecker. Um, Abe says, she ain't hood. She's listening to Garth Brooks now. <laughs> we have the box set of Garth Brooks. We do. It's right over there. Um. um I love compliment of my nails. They're pretty ratchet. I they're they're glue on kind, and I put them on um, right before we went to live. In fact, I put the last two on. Um, nail glues come a long way. I don't think that they're going to come off anytime soon. But you know and what? they're crooked. Are they? I mean, because look, you know the things about nails. You got to have strong nails so you can dig in. You know. Well, what am I going to poke the cuties with? Right. Well, I wasn't talking about that, but. Again. Oh, did you so said you can just hold when on. we were talking and and you were like, by the way, I really like your nails. I do remember some of this stuff. You said, by the way, you can dig them into my back. Do you remember that? Probably. I was like, oh, and I, I was like, so it it turns out that Sean does think about that stuff. Yes, That's it was funny like when, when we, we first started talking, yeah. like when we were make, you know, when we first started like the sexy stuff. Yeah. We we were so old doing it. Like I know. We, we don't know what we're doing. We I were mean, like you know, like when when you're like sexting and and but someone is like two texts off. <laughs> so she'd ask me a question, you know, and I'm like, oh, and I'm trying to keep my my composure. But so I'm answering a question and she's asked right. two more. So when she's reading it, it's like off. It's off, you know. So it doesn't it doesn't really doesn't do any good to you know because they don't flow right. Yeah. You know, she had me all fucked up. I but did. Anyway. I was like, let me throw this out here and see. I'm just going to throw this right out there. Um, and I was like, really? I, I had no, I mean. I, Evil Abe, when we talk about people who troll and like the classic troll, mm -hmm. Abe, Abe is, he's like talking about his favorite Garth Brooks song, like random shit's going on. And he's like, my favorite Garth Brooks song is this. And and it's just, he's like, he trolls. But the thing is, is like in, in these close. drama, you know, genre communities, especially the DC um, mostly women. So the really, really good trolls. He knows are, there's a lot of really good 
guy trolls mm -hmm. like Carlos. People like think that Eddie, people that like go in and say, I just Stewie. want to tell you you're Stewie's fat Stewie's another ugly. one. Stewie's another one. Yeah. Really good troll, you know. Uh, but then he's he's kind of come out as his own person. But he but he can still troll the shit he out can't, of people. But, like, that's the classic troll. Like, people think when you create a name that's, like, ATX die or something. Yeah. And then you come in and say something. That's, okay, that's a sock account or whatever. But trolling is is like what Abe does. Yeah. And here's the thing, too. It's like people will come <laughs> into a community with a troll account. Like maybe they have. So if you want to get somebody's attention, use their face as an Abby, whether it be Mandy or whoever, you know. So you're using their face to, to, to troll somebody, to make fun of somebody with a Twitter account. And then you get followers and stuff, but then you try to act like serious with some serious tweets. Yeah. Like you come on, like after three months of just being ruthless to somebody, you try to tweet something like, so I'm uh, not feeling good today. I, I might have COVID. And it's like, what? You're not allowed to be that way. Or you know? you, because sometimes some people, um, Angela, they'll be in the wrong Twitter right. and they'll post some pictures or something and they're in their, their sock Twitter. And you got to text them and be like, yo, um, you need to. You apparently are this person you because you just up. posted. This. Mama Beth used to do that too. <laughs> She's back. Yeah. Um. But that's the thing is. Eve Labor, are you in? Are you in? Um, Savage Cool. Are you neutral now? Because I can't be in here chumming it up with you if you're. No, I'm just kidding. But really, are y'all cool now? I think they are. I think. I hope they are because. They, they were, they were way cool together. And then when that, I remember on, yeah, it was, that was a whole G mangoes thing. That sucked. Yeah. It really did. Um, anyway. Cause they were, they could troll together. Yeah. Well, they, they had, they had a good dialogue together when they yeah. were on panel together. That was the thing. They vibed really well. And there was a ton of um, people that just like, really like Abe's voice. Yeah, there I'd is. I'd be like, how does this, And you they've know, doxed his, um. Oh, well, well, I, I don't know about all that, but, um, the, hold on. What was I saying just before that? She could go, these called tragedy pimps. She should not. Oh, Abe. No, 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 no. Don't talk about that in here. <laughs> we don't do St. Jude's in here. No, but, um, the other, what was, mm. What were we talking about just before that? Um, Let me read it. I'm gonna we were, read it. No, we were talking out. about we were talking about guy trolls, and yeah. I was talking about how you can't you can't come out with a troll account and get a following based on bashing somebody or going for somebody, and then all of a sudden try to shift gears and be serious and have people take you serious because it's like you literally have. This person's face is your Abby. Yeah. Well, it, a lot of times it's like one and done. Because if you create something like that, that Mandy's disappointed FRG right, that, leader or whatever yeah. it is. And then you come in and you say something and then you get hidden. Well, I guess you can change the name and go somewhere else. But forever you can't like, you're hidden on this channel. No, but what I mean is something like, um, if they have an account that, because say somebody doesn't like any, anybody, it doesn't matter who it is. Let's say Katie, right? And you, so they make an Abby with Katie's face or whatever on There's it. There's about a thousand. Right. And you, and so everybody follows it and you get a few hundred followers or whatever it is that, I don't know what it is when a Twitter account is like, whatever. But then all of a sudden you go, oh, I have all these people following this account. So then you can't all of a sudden start talking about like, your personal life or get serious and stuff or put inspirational things on there. Cause people are like, no, you, you literally, we can't take you seriously. You literally have somebody's face. Yeah. And that's why we follow you. We used to see that. There's a lot of people that would do that. Yeah. Abe, don't get hidden. No, I mean, don't get, don't get, <laughs> What's it? I've hidden the last, I mean, I've deleted the last two comments about, um, uh, well, it was only a matter of time. I think that's his goal. I think that after he's done... Okay, no, he's he's trolling. That's that, well, what that's what I mean, but I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> veiny white people. Gross. Oh, no, that's what I was going to say. His picture has been doxxed, like, a whole bunch of times, Abe's has, and it's mm. always a different person. It's never the same person. Did you know that? 
<laughs> yeah, but I mean, you can't. <laughs> He's like, I'll stop. Don't hide me. But I've no less than four pictures have been like, this is him. And they're never the same person. So what you're saying is, is Abe has done a very good job <laughs> of not being doxxed properly. Yeah, it's kind of like Stewie. Nobody's figured out who, they know kind of who he is. Nobody's thought, released Stewie's picture. I thought Abe got doxxed one time and it, 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 was, it set him through, it sent him into the stratosphere. It was but I think about, it sent him through the stratosphere because it was. So that he would, I don't know. Uh, I was, this was a few, a few years ago. We, this was when we were still in Texas, though. And it's always, like, different races. Like, different mean? races. Not racist, but, like, different races. The pictures get dogs. Oh, so, always, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, the five times. He's, like, a different color every time they yeah. show a picture or something like that. Yeah. Um, Stitching is like, good job, job. Are we talking about the other? Hey, cat lover. Um. Look, everyone else is like freaked out. They're like, it's like that's just him. <laughs> you, you went and did it, Abe. He'll, you, he'll, you got, he'll come in and done, compliment your boobs and hey, yeah. Anna Lee, how are you? Yeah, I you, miss you. Too. You done, you done, fucked up another chat there, Abe. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you do your? Did you get your peacock color highlights? I, she, what about the? What did she say about the pacemaker? My pacemaker decided to go rogue. Oh All my good gosh. Now. That's no good. Yeah, he's been Aaron, Brian, Paul. And, yeah, I remember Brian. That's no good. Did they Did they fix? They can fix it without doing Scott. surgery, right? Scott, Scott. They can fix it without, they can put something over it and fix it. I know when my, um, nice. I know when my grandfather passed away, they had to turn it off. Like it keeps. It kept it. It kept it, it keep, going. Yeah. Um, this is and they had DUIs. I never drank and drove. One time, <laughs> Abe was like being something. He was said he was on Xanax and drunk or whatever. And then it was like a couple weeks later, and I was like, that was really shitty. We were already together, and I said, you says you were on Xanax and drunk. I was like I probably was. There's been a couple times. On, and he like, doesn't in, remember. In G Mango's chat where he, he'd he been on one. You can tell. <laughs> it's all, it's all, um, we've all been there. I want to see a chorus line. Bars are expensive. Um, Annalie, what? Oh, shoot. Um, Did you accidentally block somebody? No, it's like, I wanted to make sure. I want to see a few times I fit. Yeah, when your pacemaker's not working or it's like malfunctioning, I've heard it's very, you're like out, hey, naturally vain, you're out of breath and you're just real tired. That's, I've heard that before. Well, because it's not, it's not, your blood pressure is not regular. Right, especially when it drops, when it's low. My my dad got his pacemaker, what was it been like now, four months ago or something like that? It was right, it was before Christmas, Yeah, it's about six months or so. And um, he just said it was like night and day. Like he, that's what he felt so much better. He felt so much better. He couldn't, he couldn't believe that he went that long. And he just thought you know, he's 83 this year that I'm getting older. I don't have the same energy anymore. And you know, he had COVID and uh, he's had two heart attacks. So he thought between the, the COVID and the two heart attacks that this is just how life is. I'm just going to be, you know, tired and exhausted and I don't have as much energy anymore to do things. Maybe I'm in my eighties. And then he got his pacemaker, and he said he couldn't believe he waited that long That's to do cool. it. And um, did you see this? Did I send you that? Yes, I saw. Well, it's, it's our, our our thumbnail is is the can you believe chick? I got all kinds of chicken memes today. Have a good night, Lady Guinevere. Um, yeah, keep keep Annalie in your prayers. Abe, please pray for Annalie. He will too. I think he's a. I think he's a. Probably underneath it all, he's a pretty good dude. Yeah, and sometimes when we, you know, we tie one on, we you, you've, you've seen people come on here and act like berserk. Yeah. Yeah. He's done that a couple times. Oh, yeah. He he's was, come he on. Was, <laughs> I think when I heard him talk about beautiful, cool Nicole today, I think he's hurt. Oh, see, he I may didn't not hear, admit to being hurt, but it I didn't seems hear like what he's, was said, he's sincerely but, hurt that she but, kind of bailed on him. Well, I don't even know the circumstance of why it happened. I only heard the part where he was playing it and um, and and talking about it or whatever, and he seemed like he was hurt. 
It's normally what it is. And that's when people get the nastiest is when someone's mm -hmm. hurt. Right, Sam? So, oh my God. Yeah, you get you get all hurt that ATX, I don't know. I'm not going to go there. No. You, know. you do need to get some sleep, though. It didn't need to be that way. It didn't have to be that, that Now, way. that is a song. It did. Um... Yeah, we are going to have to get someone to watch the chickens and the cats. Um, we could. Th the problem, yoga, with leaving them a few days, they free range during the day. And if they're all kept in that confined um, we would coop. Have to, and, we'd have to get a fence up quick. like when. Well, no, but I mean, yeah. But I mean, even at night, we shut them, the mm -hmm. big gate in, so nothing can get into we the coop. To, we're going to figure that out. We're going to figure like the, it out. It, we, yeah. His parents could do it, but they're going to be out of town, too. But for the first couple days. I mean, we could probably get her for a couple days. Uh, well, yeah. We should, um, no Abe thinks we're illegal cockfighting. Um, they do they send don't them fight, in the mail. Though, but they don't fight. We have ours are wusses. We put the yard decoration out they, there. They bring them in, Abe. I don't know how often you listen to our chats, but I work at the post office, and every once in a while, they bring a they bring a, a rooster in, and it's you know it's in the cage, and they they're mean as fuck. And they'll I mean, be like squawking and yeah, oh yeah, they're going crazy. You, you have to be two. careful. You have you had to you have to be careful because it's like you can't just it's like anything you can't like put your fingers too close to like because they're that mean. They're mean. Have you had any this year? We haven't had any big. I was the, the, baby, say, the baby chickens come in the mail. But yeah, not. but you haven't had the last year. You had like two come, and y'all you had they were in separate boxes, obviously. But you had to separate the boxes. So you're sitting in the you're sitting back there where all the and you got to mail them like express. You can't they can't be in the mail for Ooh. five days. You got to have them in. I mean, they got to be like forty eight hours, right? So you have it set to the side, and you're sitting there trying to do some work, and it's like growling and stuff. You know, you know how mm -hmm. he growls out there, and they'll be growling or they'll go crazy or they'll. They'll come for you, and you're like, you feel like you work at a zoo or something. Yeah. Karen's a rock star. Cat Lover was like, hi, whatever. And Karen's like, new account today? Because it was created today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's one thing that um, <laughs> with YouTube, it used to be back in the day. You couldn't figure out. Well, first of all, we weren't all, you know, we, we didn't know as much as we know now. So people could come in. Remember how easily everybody got trolled? Like somebody would come in, like you know, so we run. Joe's big toe is in account or whatever, or you know Tom's, Stop. you know, and they just go in and just start talking to people, anybody, and content creators would lose their minds. <laughs> no, no, I am not. Now you can, you know, you 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 can put filters on. First of all, second of all, you can. It used to be that now you can click on the account. And then it'll tell you when it was created. You used to not be able to do that. Yeah. And you can see when someone comes into your account or leaves a comment and you look at it, and it's literally, it'll say, created four hours ago or whatever. Yeah. Or three Sean's hours good ago. at catching that. You know, like I, I, you look at something and it's then you click it on there, created 12 minutes ago, and you block it. And then 15 minutes later, they come in with another account. And then they've used like four accounts. So you can put things into perspective pretty quickly. And the now that you have to... Um, <laughs> Now that you, some of them you have to be subscribed for like 20 minutes. Yeah. I bet that drives you crazy, yeah. Abe, when you go to troll somewhere and you have to be subscribed for 20 minutes. Yeah, there, I mean. You're going to, I'm going to put you nine or, nine. Hold on. or you just go into a chat that you've never been in. It's your account. And you want to go into the account and be friendly yeah. with the account. And and you, you say, oh, hey, you want to say hey to people because you know the same people and you got to wait. Yeah. And then after 20 minutes, you like. Lost interest in here on the. That's what I'm thing. saying. I bet that's what he's gonna say. He's gonna be like, he's gonna be, he moves on. Or if you get timed out, 300 seconds later, you're on to something else. Right. You're cruising. Uh, 300 on. seconds is five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to um, put all of them. Um, we gonna wrap it up. Cat lover, she just said welcome to however you found us. It's not that you're not being. A, don't be so sensitive. Um, we are because that one has to go to bed. That one needs to go potty. You need to go to sleep. I don't need to go to sleep. I need to. Uh... No, no, you need to go to sleep. <laughs> You're so bad. But you, you didn't say you. You said you didn't sleep well last night. Well, but uh, but you need you need to put me to sleep. Oh my god. You need to put me to bed. Yeah. Um, Andy's gonna put me to bed, y'all. And he means tuck him in. Yes. You can't kiss and tell. No, no kissing. Okay. All right. Have a good night, y'all. Hey, y'all go and check Joss's video out. Yeah, for the sure. Reaction. 
Sam. It's it's raw. Um, it's it's Presley just ducks her head in like right at the end. Hey Presley. Hello. Oh, I missed. I know. We um We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow, Presley. Presley Abe's in the chat. Have you ever met Abe? Presley meet Abe. Abe meet Presley. Right? Yo. And Mandy, yeah, go go check out Josh. Yeah. Go check out Anna Nicole if you want to see some old school Nicole stuff. Nicole with a K. Yes. And um Mandy's gonna, have a Mandy's gonna put me to bed. Come talk to me in bed. Let's go. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>